Sorry for the lack of audio video synchronization, it's because I had to say a lot. With OTA update that is over the air update, you enjoy the convenience of firmware update on smartphones without the need of a PC. As smartphones are gradually taking the role of a mini portable PC, OTA update makes great sense as long as it works well without issues. For Samsung, the story is not the same. Off late, I bought Samsung Galaxy S4 Xena Octa model. Since I bought it after two months of its general release in the market, Samsung has rolled out few firmware updates in the meantime. I knew about the same. So among my top things to do with my S4 list, firmware update was one of them. So I initialized firmware update via OTA from the phone itself. I received first firmware update of about 55 MB. Phone was successfully able to download the update and install the same without any issue. I again made check of software update via OTA and received another update of about 300 plus MB. Now this update was huge and so the download took time uh, but finally all was good. It was successful now. Now I again visited software update check feature on my phone because I knew about the current build number and my current build number on my phone was not the latest one. But this time instead of update check it threw me an error like a slap on my face. Sorry you have reached maximum number of tries. I mean have I been too greedy to get the latest update on my phone? Come on Sammy why do you put such a hold in place? This signals us that Samsung may not yet have the required infrastructure to maintain flawless OTA updates. It's taking caution by limiting the number of updates requests from a device. This is hard to grasp, at least for a consumer who has spent good amount of his hard earned bucks on the purchase of Galaxy S4. I mean Galaxy S4 is premium flagship series and Samsung should have taken measures to ensure that users of this smartphone shall not face any such problem. Well, my rant may seem little too aggressive but let me add more drama to the troubles I have been facing. I downloaded Samsung Kaij program in the hope that I'll get the update through the Kaij, if not over the phone. After downloading and installing Kaij on my PC, I connected the phone, it was plainless, easy. The Kaij recognized the phone in an instant. But there comes the disappointing picture. Kaij is not displaying the current firmware version of the phone, nor any info on the latest firmware or if any update is available. Now this was adding to the frustration. I visited tools menu in the Samsung Kaj program and tried initializing firmware update manually. But that presented me with another error that Galaxy S4 that is GTI 9500 does not support firmware update initialization. So my last resort was to wait. But for how long was not clear because I, wa I am a new customer of Galaxy S4. So I waited 24 hours and then tried to update my phone via OTA. It failed again with the same error. I waited for another 24 hours and then finally it was back to play. Now it shows update available. Without wasting any moment further I downloaded it and installed it. So this is not really a fix but a compromise you have to make. So if you are getting any such similar issues just wait for 48 hours till the issue gets resolved automatically. There is nothing wrong with your phone. Samsung's firmware update mechanism is all messed up. That's what I have to say. Thank you for watching this video.